So Traca is a very prestigious unknown race in Spain, in Girona, it takes place in Girona. It kind of kicks off, uh, you know, the season for everyone. It's a 360 kilometer race, more than 4,000 meters of climbing. It's very difficult. It's extremely fast and highly competitive. I think, I think here in Girona, it's a kind of a welcome to the jungle, jungle racing because uh, you have to go uh, to narrow roads and, and uh, the wood and uh, yeah, it's, it's more a kind of uh, adventure race. It's really cool. For me, it's uh, the first new challenge and uh, the Traca maybe is the best race in, in Europe. It's really gravel, really, really gravel. I don't know that I have a comparing uh, in, uh, in Europe. Yeah, it's too short to be an uh, ultra. It's like, I would call it semi-ultra because I do longer distances. So there will be party. Like, it's gonna be race hard first, and then party hard probably, but I have a flight back on Sundays. <laughs> so it's not gonna be that hard probably. The best uh, is, is not the legs important, but is, this is important. In, in the long race. The legs is, is important for the, the first six hours, seven hours, and uh, the last is only, uh, only is, yeah. Yeah, feeling uh, pretty good. Uh, I think uh, getting that race feeling. Uh, it's good to see some familiar faces, um, and definitely looking at some of the pro faces, getting a bit nervous, but yeah, it should be good, should be fun. Uh, yeah, you see some of the guys that I've been inspired by uh, when I started doing ultra racing. And uh, wow, it's incredible. But I feel really pumped, really good. Should be a good one. So, the beginning of the race was uh, almost just like any other race, except for the fact that I was too excited to, you know, be next to Lachlan Morton and be like, oh, made it. <laughs> it was exciting, it started really nicely, it started at night, uh, night, I mean, it was still dark, but it was beautiful, one of the most beautiful uh, moments. And yeah, straight from the beginning, it was nice, then I found a nice group with the nice cycling team. Then I pulled and then it just I, I started just riding by myself. I knew I was gonna ride most of the race by myself. I just had a feeling because I knew that I was feeling strong. I was feeling strong at my level. I was feeling good. I was trying to push and get more, and get in front and get uh, catch up with more people. Uh, and that's how it started. That was you know that was the beginning, uh, and everything seems perfect. Leaving Traka was a very difficult decision, uh, but also I think it was difficult, but it was silly, it was spontaneous, it was not well thought through, it was, I, I, I just think, perhaps a big mistake of the year, Pro probably the thing that I got most disappointed this year. I mean, in ultra cycling, I do ultra cycling, it's because you like the suffering and then you go past the part that you say, I oh, know I'm going to quit, I'm going to quit. But you say, no, I'm going to do it. 
And that's the part that I don't know where I just I threw it away. What made me really quit is I, I was really tired. I was exhausted. I made a few mistakes the days before, leading to the race as well. I think I I didn't uh, I didn't uh, take on the right you know the right amounts of, of, of food at the right times. Uh, it was just a bit of a mess. Uh, I felt strong all the way through, and then 